Adventure is in my blood. Finding treasures big or small and having fun is what it's all about. With my wife, Melissa, and our three kids, life is pretty full. But there isn't a mountain we can't climb together. This isn't your ordinary antique store. My name is Alex Archibald, and this is Curiosity Inc. Well, good morning, guys. Steven's off on an adventure to school today on his bike, and I'm on an adventure to go pick up some really cool stuff. I have to head off this morning to meet a friend. In this business, you meet a lot of people, and in some cases, you end up becoming friends with people who are clients or customers. Now, um, this person I'm gonna go see, I'm keeping it a mystery because uh, he's a mystery in this episode. Um, it has an amazing collection of really cool stuff. Now, some folks are very private. As you can imagine, they don't want their stuff shown all over the world for people to know what kind of things they have. But um, we did a trade the other day. We did a, a fairly big trade. Um, so I have some cool stuff in the back. I've got an old um, steam engine that was hand built uh, in Germany. And uh, I've got a bundle of cash and we're gonna go do a little horse trading this morning and see what kind of cool stuff I can end up with. So. Uh, I can't show you the buying process, but I can show you what I find and walk through why I thought it was cool. And trust me, you're gonna think this stuff's cool. So let's go for a ride, go pick up some cool stuff. is completely packed and you know that means I bought a lot of stuff because the ambulance is uh, pretty big. The challenge, <laughs> what I'm nervous about right now, is that it's so full I don't want to turn the wrong way or take a corner too tight because stuff could fall over. I brought uh, blankets and pillows and stuff but I didn't bring enough so some things are kind of precariously perched in the back of the ambulance but we're gonna get this stuff back to the shop. I have no idea where I'm gonna put it. Uh, I'll figure that problem out later, but wait till you see what I got. Yeah, I'm back at the shop right now. It's been a very busy morning. As a result of me buying so much stuff, I've simply just had to redo the entire store. So I have counters full of product and stuff all over the place. I've had to put some new shelves and showcases up to make way for the new cool things that have come in. So a couple really neat items, and as I'm doing this, I've got my friend Bob, who's also a customer hanging out with me today. Bob comments a lot on the videos too. Um, but he's here watching this live. These were two really neat pieces that came in. These are both one quarter scale, highly detailed die cast Hondas. One is a CB750 with working taillights and engine sounds, the whole deal. Um, and the other one is of course his Ed 50 monkey bike. Now these are very rare, highly desirable. If you look at the detail, like even the folding handlebars, um, the, the speedometer with actual glass and a tiny little speedometer in there. These are just phenomenal. Um, real upholstered seats, I don't know if you can see that. The detail on this is just stunning. So I was pretty happy to get a hold of those. Those were a couple neat things that came in today. And I'm a big Honda fan, love the bikes. And those are gonna be nice additions. And here's another neat piece. This is a custom built, nearly one quarter scale uh, Kyle boat motor. Now this is, um, you, when you turn the top there, you can see the propeller spins, it's geared. When you uh, move the rudder on the back, oh, the little spark plug piece came off there. When you move the little tiller, that turns it. Uh, beautifully crafted, handmade, really neat custom piece. And these sorts of ideas, it's, it's a combination of folk art, a combination of display, real little spark plug in it, just a beautiful display piece. And it is really one of a kind. I mean, this is the only one. So you're not gonna see this anywhere else. You want one, I'm the only guy who's got one. This is the situation I've got going on right now. This is the back of my car. It's probably the coolest the back of my car has looked in a while. Um, now nothing is really touching. I don't like how it's packed. No, that's why I said I ran out of blankets, but everything's kind of on upholstery or kind of okay. There's a quarter midget race car from the fifties in here. There's um, one of the very first boat engines, a waterman, uh, a little mini airplane prop. Um, let's see, a Model T racer. And I've had this once before, but the fellow bought it from me and then he did a whole lot of upgrades to it. Uh, upholstered seats, belly pan, a real uh, working wall engine. 
inside of it. That's a four cylinder engine. So all sorts of neat things. And I've got to start bringing this stuff in the store to put it on display. This boat behind me is a 1950s racing boat. And back in the day, they would actually power these with a weed whacker engine. And that's just what this is. I kid you not, this thing's probably five feet long. It, uh, I have no idea where I'm gonna put it. That's kind of the, the usual routine around the store. There's no room for anything, but it was so cool. I couldn't leave it behind. Just check this out. Custom graphics, beautiful design. And uh, it looks like they used uh, tire tread to replicate kind of a seat in the back. They're really, really cool. Working weed whacker engine inside that uh, would power this thing and probably get it up to a pretty good speed. And they would race these. Now, this is a bit more elaborate than what you normally see, but what a cool piece to have on display. Just love it. Now, this piece I'm about to show you, I've wanted for like four years. I finally got it. It's a custom built one quarter scale bat boat. It is phenomenal. It's hand painted, handcrafted. It's built off the platform of a salesman sample race boat. Um, lots of neat details, you know, little things that they put on it, hand painted bat logos. But you can see the quarter scale figures fit perfectly in there. Batman and Robin are at the ready for bat surprises on the water. And this thing, to give you an idea of scale, let's see if I have a little toy car I can put next to it. Uh, well, here's a little tin toy here. That's the, <laughs> here's my hand. This is, this is actually a pretty big tin toy. It's not like a Hot Wheel, it's fairly large. And that boat is massive. So you need a good size uh, shelf for that as it takes up about four feet or so. But where are you gonna find something like that? The answer is here and nowhere else. That's a custom built piece. I just love these one-off items. And of course, you can't walk away from a place and leave a vintage Hagstrom guitar and on top of it, a nice 1950s silver tone tube amplifier. And better yet, they both work. All right, Bob, you wanna see something cool? Sure. Okay, check this out right here. This is a vintage Minox B camera. This is a spy camera. It's an actual little spy camera. And um, would have shot, it has this lovely leather case. Have you ever seen one of these before? Never. A fellow came in with it the other day. He said he had it sitting around and was ready for it to go. Now, it does actually shoot properly. It's 15 millimeter, little tiny film that goes in there. And uh, yeah, it's just a tiny little, you know, sneaky little thing that you could, uh, I mean, nowadays that's big, but back in the 1940s or 50s, that was, you know, you hold it in your hand and <laughs> take some pictures. Cool. And it looks like they give you, um, it has the instructions, which is nice. It's really good to get the boxes with anything like this too but they show you what type of picture quality you can take. They're like, yeah, it takes normal pictures. Typical of a fine picture quality you might expect from your own Minox. So it's neat that the guy kept all that stuff too. And then recommended film that you use. So pretty neat little piece, probably worth something like 200 to $250 just because it's an oddity, but nice little find to, to get today. So I got a lot of really cool stuff today. I found homes for a lot of it. I even got some books. Now, normally um, we do sell odd and unusual and sometimes rare books. The reason I bought this bundle of books, there was a leather bound 1800s edition of Burns, uh, his works, and there was an original Steinbeck, uh, Travels with Charlie. So some cool pieces, but lots of, I don't normally get into dishware, but hey, when it comes along with some other stuff, you end up with it. But by far the coolest things were the, uh, the stuff that I picked up this morning. Um, just an amazing uh, collection of really odd and unusual and rare stuff. Managed to find a home for the two-timer boat up top. I've got the uh, Honda motorcycle on display in the display case next to the little Z50 monkey bike. I had to do a lot of rearranging back here to make this all work, but I think I managed to fit it all in. The other thing that you guys didn't see as I was browsing around and showing stuff, we've got this one-off aluminum airplane made from beer cans and it has a working a functioning little jet engine inside of it um, probably one of the cooler things I got today was this it's an original 1950s quarter midget race car 
Um, they race kids races at the track back in the 50s and 60s. This one is fully restored. Now they added some details to it, like the flames that wouldn't have had that originally. But this is a functioning car. It's got a pull start engine on it. Uh, you gotta be probably seven, eight years old or so. My daughter Abigail's nine, she barely fits in this thing. But it is a running car and a part of me really wants to just sit up top there and drive it around. Really, really neat though, and such a cool looking piece. Never had one before, it's just so cool. Um, you saw me bring in this perhaps. This is a early salesman sample wooden boat with oars, and it's got these lovely little detail locks on it. They're locking oars, so it's complete with oars. They would have had that probably on display in the showroom. This, however, is really cool. This is a 1914 Waterman, uh, I think it's called a B2 Twin really unusual engine and extremely rare now it's missing the um it's missing the carbs the carb off the side um sadly that's gone so it's not 100 percent original right now but it's really really rare um and overall not bad condition a lot of the major parts and components are there for a guy who collects boat motors that's one that they probably don't have and it's not terribly big either it's a nice compact display piece and speaking of display pieces we're going to come back around I've rearranged my front area here a bit. Another salesman sample aluminum boat with stand. And I found a spot. Oh, this is the little uh, airplane ashtray, DC-3 ashtray that I got. What's nice is it's compact, it lights up. It's got a beautiful little stand. And um, yeah, lovely. A metal craft often made these out of uh, Ontario, Canada, but they made the larger ones. I don't know if they made the smaller one too. I'll have to research that. There's a little miniature typewriter, cute as a button literally because there's buttons on it a nice little uh, engine with the prop Let's see if i can flip that around it was all about the uh big boy toys kind of today that came in lovely third scale model t speedster with custom writing and a wall engine and of course he's put the e wall for because that's what type of engine it has inside of it and um yeah just really went all the way even to getting uh the like the seat is upholstered with springs just phenomenal. Look at the little gauges in here. Little tiny key. I guess you put that in the ignition there, is the idea. What a lovely little piece. It's not so little actually, it's massive. Of course, the bat boat, which we showed earlier. So another fun day of finding odds and sods and collectibles and all sorts of antiques around the shop. I sure do appreciate you guys watching these episodes and watching these adventures that I go on. And for me, I just have a lot of fun finding cool stuff. So if you're not on our Instagram, it's Curiosity Inc. Y-E-G or our Facebook page under Curiosity Incorporated, that's where you gotta go to see where this stuff ends up and when it goes up for sale. We do mail stuff out. Um, we post pictures on Instagram and Facebook. If you ever wanna buy something, that's how you do it. But thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you all soon. Bye for now.